everybody we're going to do some painting and drawing today so um, for drawing all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil and anything at all you can see in front of you you can draw you can draw an apple or a lemon or if you're having a cup of tea you can draw a cup and saucer okay so draw anything you see and here you have a picture of the cup and saucer and a pencil and you can actually shade in if you wanted to with this so there you have it and you have a handle here and there's your cup in the shadow and make sure the light the sun comes from this side and this side is always bright and your shadow is on the opposite side okay so that's what you do and there you have it and there is your apple and you can actually either do this or paint it with your watercolor if you got some but today I'm going to show you some Chinese brush painting so here we go Chinese brush painting and this is just a watercolor paper which is uh, 72 pounds which is a very lightweight one so starting from now I will draw you a mountain and the mountain is a Chinese mountain and holding your brush and you will now go there's your mountain and we now have to do a little bit more work and let's try and show some of the cracks and crevices and make sure you leave plenty of white spaces so now you've got this mountain and you can actually make it a nice tall mountain and now we have some trees coming along just here And once you've done some trees, you can actually draw some smaller mountains on the other side. Light color. Right, and now um, you can see that there's going to be a waterfall just down here. So there will be other mountains. See how easy it is to do your mountain? This is a Chinese drawing. And the water is here. So now you've done this, you can do as much mountain as you like, and has depending on how much time you have. And as your brush is drying up, you it is very nice to have dry brush to do some of the other less important thing. So and here you might have a tiny little house maybe. And you might have more trees. And more trees down here. So there we have it. And if you like, you can actually have a little island just here. Just here, we can just do a little island. Just got some trees around here. And come coming down. And once you come down here, you might have a, a little house. Uh, and somebody's walking down the steps. So you have little stairs coming up and if you come down you might find that this is a lovely little island you might have a person standing here and uh, doing something and uh, there's another person looking up and so forth See how nice it is. 
Okay, so you can have some more houses just down here. Right, and uh, well, maybe you can just have a little bit of grass growing just down here. And there we have it. Right, so if you've got a little bit of watercolour, don't use the same brush because the Chinese ink is very, very staining. So once you use the brush, then you have to wash it thoroughly with soap and water. But I'm going to change it to another brush and I will use a clean brush. And, and you see, I can just open my little bit of watercolour and put some clean water onto it, say a bit of yellow. And the yellow can come in just here. And if you like, you can actually have a slightly different color yellow and just get some of the... And now you can have a tiny bit of green and put in some little trees, which is just here. So now what you can do is introduce a tiny bit of colour so that the picture is not very dull. So because it's already wet, you can see, you can see how quickly the, the colour is spreading. That is quite a rocky colour, isn't it? Wash your brush and you can get a little bit of clean yellow on the top here. You can spend an hour doing this or you can spend five minutes doing this. So it's quite easy. Now this is an island and I think you ought to paint it with a little yellow, don't you? A little bit of an orangey yellow. There is your mountain. And I tell you what, we're going to have a bit of red roof on this house. Just to give it a bit of red. And now you have a man here who's, who's coming down. There's a woman just down here. And she can have a bit of red just down here and you might even have a tiny bit of red just here just to bring some color into the mountain but if you wait for the uh, the Chinese ink to dry you'll probably find that it won't run into each other but anyway so mm -hmm. there you have it but mm -hmm. And a little bit of watercolour might just, just take a bit of the waters. See, just thin your, water, your, your ink down with a tiny bit of water and you have the watercolour. And let's put a tiny bit of this mountain on the other side. Oh, sorry, I've got the wrong one coming down. Where's my brush? These are the mountains you want to start looking at. And you can have a little bit of greenery just get down here. Right, and I think we're done. So, a little bit of green patch won't go amiss. Some seed? Yeah. And here is one that I did earlier. And finally, this is what you want to look at. So, there is your Chinese mountain and island.